You might have remembered that we have used the transpose tool, moving tool, and all the this tool uh, in the previous lesson. The version 2021 of ZBrush has introduced a new sort of a transpose tool, which is known as transpose cloth tool. So if I will press B, T, and then you will notice I have C, which is transpose cloth tool. Now let's see how it actually works. Now if I will turn it on, you will notice that I have my uh, transpose tool and it looks like normal over here. Okay. So uh, before going that, let me try to do something here. Let me try to run simulation here. So you can see this is how the simulation actually works. Okay. Now if I will undo this, and go back to my transpose tool btc and then if i will move this down okay let me do one thing here i just want to move my uh Okay, now it's fine because I just wanted to reposition it. So you can do that with the Alt and Shift so that it will perfectly rotate. Okay, now it will be easier for me to move around. Now, just notice if I will take this or let me do one thing Alt Shift and move this all the way like this so it will be easier for me to move it down. Now I'm in the transpose tool and now if I will move this down. Just notice as soon I will reach to this collision, it will not go through just like the normal transpose tool. It will start making the simulation over here. Now one thing, uh, one good thing about is that if I will move it up, it will stay like this. And now what I can do is that I can rotate it. Now if I will move it down, Will create something like this. I can move it up, rotate a bit, and now you can see as it rotated, it produced this result. Okay, now if I will go here and just see what is it's doing, and if I will go back here and just notice. So you can do a lot of crazy work over here. Now one more thing I can do is that I can turn on my floor collision also on here because I turned it off last time. Now if I will go to this part, okay, where I have my floor and if I will rotate this and soon it will touch the floor, it will start producing this sort of effect here. Okay, I can back, down, forward, down a little bit more. Okay, I can increase the size of it. Just see what is happening. Then I will do this. Okay, or what I can do here is that I can mask the area which I don't want. And if I will move down, you can see that this is how it is doing and shift control shift and uh, 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 I will just drag it out to remove the mask and if I will move this down so you will see different sort of results you will get here okay let me rotate to the that side let me turn on the floor so you can see what's going on here okay and if I rotate to this other side here So you can see we have something a weird sort of thing out of this so you can do a lot of crazy stuff with this so and the good thing is that it's all zbrush so you can simply go there smooth this up you can use the sm uh, clothes or smooth tool to smooth this up and you can have the result now you can take the normal one 
okay uh but you have to go back to the normal here i'm still in that transpose normal okay and let me reset this and now you can see nothing is happening okay but if i would take btc uh then things will be a little different Just notice how it changes when it touches the ground or the object itself. Okay, so I hope you have understood about this uh, transpose. The new transpose tool was very powerful and can do a lot of different kind of things. Uh, one last thing here. Let me I do everything. And as we are inside here in the transpose to let me just drag it there okay let me take the normal transpose tool right now do some sort of changes here now there is one more option that we have is called on mask by default it is off you have to turn it on in order to work with this now what does this do if I will go on my, uh, just look at my setup, everything is far away from my uh, my cloth piece and plus I will also turn off the floor collision. A self collision is uh, kind of uh, higher, so maybe two. And then I, if I will select uh, my option, my or uh, one more thing it does not have any sort of thickness what i can do i can go to my uh dynamic subdivision here give it a dynamic subdivision plus uh thickness so this is as you uh, can see it is giving a thickness but this thickness is not a real thickness it's basically like a fake thickness Okay, so I will give, just give it fake thickness over here in order to just get a nice result. Okay, and I will mask this area on the top, but I don't actually want this to be masked. I want the rest of the other thing to be masked. So control click here and everything will be gone. Now I have a masked area. Now with the help of this mask option, what it will do, let's see first what happens without on mask option. So let me take my transpose tool here. Then I'll press Alt on my keyboard, click on this end. So it will position itself on this area. Okay. Now if I will move this, you will notice it is only pushing, pulling that mask here. Okay, trying to pull that mask here. And it cannot pull all the way down because uh, there is a certain uh you know limitation when you do uh, like dynamics but if i will turn on on mask option here and try to pull this down so you can see what is going on over here okay so things are a little bit different over here and here i don't know what is that thing maybe that's the donut so let me hide that. I don't know what's showing that. Or maybe the self collision is too high. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, uh, I think it's the like the donut itself there because it's already hidden, but it's a main, uh, you know. It's showing over there at the side. So just notice if I'm moving this, so the unmasked area is moving along with this, unlike what I was doing before. Okay, now I can move this, okay, up here. Okay, slowly, because it all depends on the speed. So if you are doing it very fast, so it will not give you the result you're looking for. 
and you can make a roll just like this okay so that if there is no collision piece over there so it will work much more better but there is some collision going on there i think that is this collider uh back there in the memory because the position is there itself and the object itself is not there so that's the issue here uh, but anyhow you might have just noticed that what it is doing is kind of producing this sort of a result on my screen here okay so i can also rotate then move it inverse here and maybe self collider i can i will turn it off on or more so you will see that that's a if i turn off the collision volume in the collision volume it's better to turn keep it on okay so you can see that it has created some sort of a roll over here and that you can easily make through okay because right now i'm doing that with this uh, dynamic subdivision and that's how i'm getting this uh, from this thickness maybe if i will reduce the thickness it will be more thinner and you will get more much better result there so with this uh tool there are a lot of things you can do okay uh, you can move around and you can also do the rotation like suppose if i will move in this direction here okay and the other will follow it so it's a it's a good thing with the on mask okay and one more thing i can do if i will rotate you can see how twisting effect it is giving i can twist it all the way okay if i will do it fast so the result will be the crazy so it's all speed dependent also uh apart from twisting i can do scaling and you can see that what kind of result is producing okay so you can make a curtain traps or all different kind of things cloth lines cloth pieces you know uh, a lot of possibilities with this a, a very nice way to do uh you know a lot of things with this tool so i you have to rotate it all the way there okay and doing some insane insane work like scaling this part scaling this all the way there so nice and you know a lot of different sort of a you know you can get the result out of it so a very nice addition inside your zbrush this uh, transpose plus the on mask option so guys if you have liked my video so please uh, if you have enjoyed like my video click on the like button and i will be uploading new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos so don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications i will highly appreciate if you give shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all so guys uh, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson.